Welcome to another video here at STI Liz. Today I do bring you guys another install. I'm actually going to be installing the sequential LED mirror corner lights. I'm super excited to be throwing them on. We're going to get started. I'm going to try to be as detailed as possible. So these are the OEM lights and then these are the aftermarket lights. These are LED and sequential as well. So we do need to remove this down here first in order to be able to remove the top cover. Okay, so now that I was able to take off the covers, it's all dusty back here. It's pretty simple. You just um, remove this Phillips screw, and I believe there's one at the bottom. Um, you just have to remove these two, and then it releases um, the light. And then after that, you can just unplug right here. There's a little clip to so just push down and then pull out. Okay, so essentially, this could be a really quick install if you just want to use the sequential lights, which would be just plugging this in and you're basically all set, putting it back and then putting the covers back. But if you do want to take advantage of the DRL, you do have to connect this white wire right here. Um, we do have to feed it through and then go into basically your door panel and basically connect it to like a little fuse I'll show you guys what it looks like right now. Okay, so next you do have to remove your door panel So there are two Phillips screws. There's one right here where your the armrest I guess goes and then one back here So just pop it open I use my nail, but you can use a little flathead or whatever you have After you take off both of those screws, now it's time to pop it open. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on this side and then work my way downwards and then we'll see how it goes. Okay, so we do have quite a few things connected. I believe these are for your lock and then for the handle. Let me see. Yeah, so that's for that. Now, our main concern is to go ahead and release the mirror, which would be right over here. Um, so I don't have to worry too much about this area over here. Um, I'm just gonna try to see if I can leave it plugged in and just kind of set it somewhere. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and pull back this plastic. Um, it is like super hot right now, so it kind of like, it's kind of melting away, but it should stick back, I hope. So you'll just pull it back enough to expose this hole right here because there are three bolts back there that are actually holding the mirror and those are the ones that we need to remove. And before you do that, you do wanna disconnect this right here. This is connected to your mirror. Okay, so I don't know if you can see, there's two bolts on this one and then there's one um, through this hole. So you do wanna remove those, but just be careful not to drop them because then you're not gonna be able to recover them. <laughs> so yeah, just be careful when you're doing that. Okay, so now for your light, obviously this is just plug and play here. However, this white cable, we do want to run it through where the other cables are run through so it can come out through here, just so it could be like a clean look. It's not necessary for you to do that, but if you want it to look cleaner, I would recommend doing that. Now, the only thing is it's really difficult to get this wire through there. So I went ahead and used the weed whacker string. That made it a little bit easier. I was able to put it through this hole right here. I don't know if you guys can see, but that's where all the wires are fed through. So I was able to feed that one through there. And then when I got to the bottom, I just lifted this rubber up like this. And then when I saw it in here, I was able to push it through so it comes out through here. All I need to do is attach this to the white wire. So I do have some electrical tape. Hopefully it's strong enough and it won't uh, fall out when I'm pulling it through, but we'll test it.
Wow. So the only thing I did notice is that I accidentally <laughs> left the wire on the outside instead of feeding it through here. I'm such a dummy. Um, I'm just gonna leave it like that because that was way too much work. Oh well. But just so you guys don't do it, make sure you feed it under this plastic. That way it's nice and neat, but I don't really care, honestly. All right, so I went ahead and put the mirror on, but I'm missing the bolts. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them back on. So I found a little hole down here and I'm able to fit my whole hand. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to do that, but it's helpful because I'm super clumsy and I know that I would have dropped the bolt. So that one's in. And then the last one, go through the back. Okay, so I went ahead and put it back on, and if I test it, it works! Uh, now all I need to do is work on the DRLs. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and show you guys how I do it. Okay, so now I ran the wire up through here, the white one. This is the one that we are gonna have to connect so that the DRLs work. Now, there are different ways of doing it. One way would be to connect it into one of these connectors. This one goes down here, and it's the far one to your right. So I went ahead and disconnected it. We're gonna go ahead and be tapping into the wire that is yellow and blue. So it should be the first one. It's like a neon yellow. So this one right here in the corner. So it's yellow slash blue. We're gonna be connecting into that one. Now the way we're gonna do that is with one of these. So this will go ahead and help us connect into it. I'm gonna go ahead and put the wire on this side and then tap this into the connector already. Hopefully that works. Alright, so now we're going to grab the connector and grab the cable and we're going to plug it in, remember, to the yellow and blue one, it's the one in the corner. I plugged it in just to test it, so let me turn on my car, won't well, put it on accessory mode. So it worked, guys. Look at that, it looks so good. Okay, so now that I know that it works, I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it and then just secure it with some electrical tape because I don't want it to fall out and I should be good to go. Awesome, so I went ahead and secured it back into place and now I'm basically just gonna put the door panel back on. I am officially done with the driver's side. I honestly love how they look. I think it makes a huge difference and I'm super excited to finish the other side. So for the passenger side, we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna use a weed whacker string, and then we're gonna go ahead and feed this white cable right through there. But I'm what you need. I know my heart just started, but I hit a peak, yeah. Okay, not sure why, but this side was a little bit more difficult than the other side, or maybe it's just me. So I ended up putting the weed whacker in through the bottom. So I took this apart, 
I just kind of like pulled it off and then I went in through this side so I put it in through here and then I was able to pull it out on the other side now I'm not gonna make the same mistake as the driver's side so I'm actually gonna put it through under the plastic I'm gonna go ahead and tie this up with some electrical tape and then feed it through Okay, so for the passenger side, um, let me give you a perspective. So this is the door. You are gonna wanna tap into the connector that's on the right-hand side. See how there's two? You're gonna go for the one on the right-hand side. Okay, so the one that you wanna connect to would be the black and green one. As you can see, we have a black one, a white with green, and then right next to it, it's black and green. It's right before the red one. So that's the one that you're going to want to go ahead and connect into. Um, I do need to go ahead and add the little adapter to the white cable. That way I can go ahead and plug it into this. Alright, so good news, I just checked, they both work perfectly fine and they look so good. So I just need to throw on the door panel, uh, I kind of hung it on but I just need to like put it into place and then I will show you guys the final result but honestly I love it. Alrighty guys, so this does conclude my video. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys really liked this video. And if I wasn't detailed enough, please leave comments. I'll try to answer them as best as I can. Thanks again to Subi Flow for sending me these lights. I really love them.